What's going on guys and for those of you that are new to my channel my name is Joshua Daniel George I run a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands I've documented my entire journey of how I've started it built it and scaled it up to six figures all here on my YouTube channel and I'm also the host of Lifestyle Design Mastery which is an online program where I teach people how to start their own profitable online business without prior experience and a very very common question that I get and which is sort of that people don't really you know show on youtube and on uh, social media is how to actually set up the ads so i want to actually start showing much more about facebook advertising you know how to set up the ads how to scale ads how to and uh, do split tests etc on youtube to show you know be more transparent about it and show you that it's not actually that hard if you know what you're doing so the first question i get quite often which i thought i'd address first is uh, from people that just have no idea what kind of ads to run or what kind of uh, offer to give away or what kind of copy to write what the title should look like what type of images and i always recommend uh, to look at competitors to so look at what ads the competitors are running because if they are running ads for a long time chances are you know that that ad is profitable or that ad is getting them good results okay obviously you know it's not uh, we're not supposed to be you know literally copy and pasting the ads of our competitors but by looking at competitors you know it's a very uh, quick and easy way to see you know what kind of ads should i be running for my company at the end of the day you know, you always need to split test it and you always need to um, try it out for yourself with smaller budgets. So I always recommend, you know, start with maybe five euros, five dollars, five pounds a day per ad and then just test, you know, which ad gives me the best results or, you know, um, gets me the most registrations or the most signups, the most downloads, depending on what kind of campaign and what kind of clients you've got. OK, so without further ado, let's hop into the computer and I'm going to show you um, two quick ways two easy ways to actually view what the competitors are doing and you know to give you a bit of an indication of what kind of ads you can place yourself okay so the first thing we need to do is obviously open facebook so let me just quickly open facebook here okay and let's say for example you've got a client that is let's think of something random um your client sells donuts okay so we need to find competitors that are also selling donuts you know whether it's a bakery or whether that is like an actual donut chain um let's just think like for example dunkin donuts so let me just type in dunkin donuts see what comes up so what we need to do is figure out you know if dunkin donuts is running any ads um through facebook and if they are you know can we see what they look like so what we used to be able to do is on the left hand side of every single um company page we used to be able to see on the left hand side um a tab called info and ads so we used to be able to see you know kind of as they run now that is um like that is uh, since i think like a few weeks ago that was uh, taken away but now because of the whole uh, you know page transparency uh, privacy scandal um we've now got a new little feature which is here which you can then say, click on see more, you can see if this company is running ads, which they are currently not. So if this company was running ads, so if Dunkin Donuts was running ads um, through Facebook, you would have been able to see here what they were doing. Okay, so let me actually find an example of someone that is running uh, ads. So let me just click, uh, type in Donuts. Um, yeah, let's just do Donuts London. Why not? Uh, donuts, Bouquets, is it? Bouquets, no idea. Um, so click on page transparency, see more. And as you can see here, so this page is currently running ads. Click on view in ad library. So you click on that and then you can see that obviously it's a UK based donut shop. So they're not gonna be running any in the Netherlands. Uh, but if we click on United Kingdom, we can see that they are running um, one ad. Um, as you can see by the two here, they are running two variations of the ad. So let me just see what is actually the difference between the two. I'm guessing one is on Instagram maybe and one is on Facebook or there's a difference. Maybe they're doing a split test. But as you can see here, you know, we can see everything that they are doing. We can see the, the, the copy. So we believe that's not always what you say, but how you say it. So whatever the message, say it with donuts. We can see the creative. We can see what kind of button they are using. We can see uh, all the text, donut, okay, delivery in London, available now in London. 
and uh, if we click on shop now we can actually see where they are leading their um, you know, traffic to so this is uh, the main page if you click on the pixel helper we can see what kind of pixel they've got um, let me just click this away oh so many pop-ups leave me alone don't feel lucky click so they are running just a page view um, I'll probably have a view content pixel on there as well let me just quickly see what they've got if we actually click on certain items in the shop so on the shop itself they got two pixels okay view category and page view and um, if we click on the item itself still just view content and page view if we add to cart what happens then oh they got an oh yeah they have you got initiate checkout okay so um the pixel is fine uh, we can see you know what kind of ads they are running uh, we can see how many versions of the ads so they're probably running a split test here and basically now we can just see you know what kind of ads this company is running and we can take this as you know a benchmark or as an example for ourselves so as you can see you know they're using emojis uh, the donut emoji you can see that they're using shop now instead of learn more or download or anything like that you can see where they are placing that uh, where the traffic is going if you click on the ad you know we can see everything like that so what i done is i went from facebook to that page transparency um menu clicked on view and ad library and then you know i was able to see what kind of ads they're running now if you that is if you basically don't know who your competitor is so you can basically just google uh let's say uh you know your client is a steakhouse you can you can type in steakhouses london steakhouses new york whatever uh, but if you already know who your competitor is you can also go directly to ad library so let me just start with google if you type in facebook ad library on google you can basically go directly to the ad library and you can see everything that is going on with your competitors so we can search by name topic or organization so let's just type in what shall we do uh, in fact, let's just type in Steakhouse. Let's see what comes up. Outback Steakhouse is the first thing that comes up. Let me just see if they're running any types of ads. So they're not doing anything in the Netherlands. Are they running ads in the United States? Yes, they are. So we can see everything what they are doing here. So in May 2019, which is this month, they've got three different um, campaigns running. If we click on add details, we can see, okay, they've got 10 different ver versions of this ad. I'm guessing it's all different types of split tests. Um, you know, we can see the copy. We can see what image it is a video. We can see if you click on learn more, we can see what they are, where they are taking us. Uh, websites are unavailable in our region. That is very racist. Uh, go back. We can also see previous ads that that they've placed. So this is all May, 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 May. Okay, they're going crazy in May. Let me just go further back, further back. This is all still May. Um, okay guys these guys are really active because this is literally four days ago and you know we're still going down 7th of May but basically uh, I'm guessing just going ham on the split tests here but we can just see exactly you know, what are they doing what kind of variation they've got carousel ads you know uh, what's this they've got different type of ads easy dinner shop now and uh, what else they got they got videos so if you're running ads for a steakhouse client this is just a gold mine of ideas and inspiration and copy that we can use. And like I said, you know, if they've had ads, because these ads are only, they've only been running for a few days, but if you can see that an ad has been running for months and months on end, there's either, you know, either they are too lazy or they've, you know, they're just running the same ad, um, you know, regardless of the split test and anything like that. And they're not really bothered about the diminishing returns or, you just know that the ad is really, really good. And in that case, you know, you can just copy it and see, you know, obviously don't directly copy it, but you can basically just try it out for yourself. Okay, so those are my two ways of how you can basically spy on your competitors, see what they are doing and use that as inspiration for your own ads. Okay, let me know in the comments down below what type of Facebook ads based questions you have got and i'll make sure to uh you know create a video on it as well help you guys out as much as possible um you know if you like what you saw here then make sure you subscribe to the channel for more like the video if you got something out of it and i'll see you guys in the next one